Scott McTominay has just received a hero's welcome from Napoli. Absolutely mobbed by fans at the airport. They are absolutely loving it. He's love, gonna have love. a medical before signing his contract. What do you make of these scenes? Amazing, Great. amazing. I think if he ever doubted the, the move, this would just make him so much more excited about it. You know, they're, they're really fans that like take to players that are coming in and, and become cult heroes instantly, so. However, Rio Ferdinand claims McTominay has united DNA and is a player they should never have let go. It's a take that has divided United fans and pundits. So, them players, are huge you need those players and they understand the DNA especially the ones that have come through the Academy there's a lot to be said for that as well May United have always stood by that so it really does doesn't sit well with me I just feel like I just, to replace him you're gonna have to spend 30 40 50 million pounds and give him 150 a week probably mm. like it's not gonna be cheap to replace him but and and, you, and it's, it's a gamble you don't know what you're gonna get with that next player whereas he's like you know what you're getting it's on the tin He's there, he turns up when he's, when he's playing. He might not always be an 8 or 9 out of 10, but invariably he's a good solid 7. And every now and again, he will be an 8 and get you a goal. You're not having this, no? It's a silly comparison. Comparing the Man United squad that Ferdinand played in that had the ability to win things and had the culture of winning things and a squad that was capable of perhaps having lesser players in it because they were already achieving on the pitch and comparing it, superimposing it to a team that hasn't won a Premier League for a decade is a false comparison. Um, Scott McTominay is all right. I mean, what is the DNA of Manchester United? Because it damn sure isn't winning, is it, right now? The DNA of Man United used to be the poster boys for the Premier League, the best football club in my view in the world. And they're not that now. So but he's that, been there since he was involved in the youth system when he was five. So, so that, he's been in and around us when they were doing so, big things. So does that mean he has to stay there until he shuffles off this mortal coil? Is this, the late, is this the latest narrative now that anyone that comes out of an academy has got to stay there forever? So at what point can you sell an academy player? Never, because they're academy players. Because the latest narrative now being run, or latest description is, if you're an academy player, it is an outrage. Mark Goldbridge, a famous Manchester United fan himself, actually agrees with Simon Jordan. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did people react like this when we let Danny Welbeck go or Louis Zaha go? No, we were like, that's a good deal. They're not good enough for the first team. Let's cash in. Welbeck and Louis Zaha, arguably, well, for me, are better than booking Scott McTominay and Aaron Wambasaka. And there was no social media outpour of, oh, grief, because Zaha and Welbeck were going. It was like, decent servants for the club, hope they go and do well elsewhere, but we need to cash in and do better because we've got Ronaldo and we've got Rooney and we've got Van Persie and people like that. Nowadays, we're crying about bloody McTominay and wan leaving. wan doing well for West Ham. Oh, bring him back. Bring him back. He's, oh, he's playing well for West Ham. Exactly what we've been saying for two years. Not good enough to start for Man United, but he'd be a brilliant player for someone like West Ham. Many Man United fans, however, are sad to see the player leave for sentimental reasons as he has been at the club so long and always seemed to give everything for the club. And they took to social media to wish McTominay well on his new chapter. Scott McTominay will forever have a special place in our hearts. He's Red Devils from birth. Good luck, Scott McTominay. You deserve to be loved and appreciated. I'll be watching your games. Dear Napoli fans, you are getting a fighter, a warrior in Scott McTominay. He will fight for you. Fight for the badge and the manager every day, every hour, every minute he is on the pitch. Even at the bleakest of times, when everyone else has given up, he will still be there. As always, I look forward to hearing what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Until next time.